but people sent us there to do the work done, not yeah. just fighting and not just – and so uh, <laughs> bottom line is Kevin McCarthy and I are going to actually draft a bill that Great. this kind of things never happen again. And and let's be clear here, uh, because you know a lot. Of, I'm sure that there will be. Well, you're a congressman. This is a state issue. This is federal money, right? I mean, this is th- this was supposed to be COVID bailout money from the federal government, which means tax dollars from all across the country. And your role as a as the the representative to the federal government, this is absolutely imperative that you protect. Uh, the people of California who are due this federal funding, it's, it's absolutely been, been stolen from them. It's, and Governor Newsom and his administration seem to be absolutely without any level of competence to fix the problem. They don't even know how to do this. I mean, you know what, that's, that's why they messed up. And this one is federal government money. And then they are kind of like a facilitator to give trade to the taxpayers that, you know, who really need this money right now. But they are the one really messed up. So we really have to do something about it. And there's a lot of trouble, you know, because some of the people that they never received the money, but they're going to get 1099 forms. They have to do the tax done, something that they didn't receive. So how are we going to solve this problem? And where are they going to get, uh, you know, how California is going to recover that over $11 billion in fraudulent COVID-related unemployment assistance benefit payment made by EDD. How are they going to do that? Because right. their money was gone. And then these, you know, <laughs> innocent taxpayers, suddenly they start getting 1099s and tax forms that they have to add, something that they never really received. How California is going to help these people? It's insane. It's insane. We're speaking with Representative Michelle Steele. We're talking about the EDD scandal that is growing the numbers. I mean, the last I checked, the projection is that it could reach over $30 billion. It could be more.